and uh, yeah, kind of an interesting storyline coming into that. I feel like with with Wolf Chen kind of leveling up recently and taking that Battle of Europe 250 over Hardenator. Yep, and a classic matchup. You got just Pika Kirby. Going straight to top plat, I bet, bet that just like you would expect that all over the world, Kirby's like top platform. It's kind of <laughs> universal. Yeah, and in this matchup, it's always interesting because uh, you do see occasional like some Kirby's are really ground oriented. Oh my god, what a crazy down <laughs> dude! And Wolchen it's an edge guard situation too. Yeah, that back air puts Kirby in such a bad spot. Is Wolchen able to finish this out? That's no. gonna do it. Yeah, and Kirby down a whole stock right at the beginning is so hard in this matchup because like you you can't you have to go for some crazy stuff off stage in order to actually get a quick stock like usually you're just going to get some percentage and then trade 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 until you can get a grab or something to finish them off or forward smash yeah and wow the lead is just looking like it's going to be padded out here as long as Wolchen's able to finish this edge guard but hits Kirby the hungry. wrong way with that neutral air great recovery from Hardenator just committing to that full drift in that's not quite gonna kill. Gotta get one more hit here. Not giving up his stock yet. Ledge? Not quite making it to Ledge. That falling up air pushing Kirby far away from the stage once again. Just gonna catch that recovery with the back air. <laughs> Run up there. That's a classic. That's a class. Just like we were talking about with the Mario Brothers, that neutral air just has such fast startup that it's yeah. a really good footsies tool to just run up there. Yeah, not only really fast startup, but also like a uh, huge hitbox. Oh, the sure. The is able to take another stock and up 3-1 to one on Hardinator here. Comebacks like these can be really tough for Kirby. Yep. You can't really you can't really trade when you're down this far, and that's like a lot of times. Kurt, it's really hard to not trade with a uh, Pikachu in general. Getting the punish on the roll though. Just recovering high. It's really hard to cover that. Just like you want to cover ledge or you want to cover high, and in your head you like because you can't do both, kind of makes you give up on one altogether. Okay. Kirby's already at 72. That Nair really helping him out. Yeah, this looks like such a difficult comeback for Hardinator right now. <laughs> it's a big it. down tilt. Pikachu got caught without the jump. Wow. That's it. That was a sweet down tilt. Yeah, great way to end it. Now he's got to get a lot of percentage, and he can't really take any hits. Oh, that's it. If you want to get started. Yeah, those up tilts on the ground are if so you big. If get started. Double downer. Going to finish it. No way. Oh, this could the be trade. a huge comeback. Like you said, you can't really trade right now. You're too high percentage. At least you... Yeah. Oh, oh he... Oh, Missing. Okay. The gift. The ultimate gift right there. Is Hardy Nader going to be able to take this all the way? Oh man. What a lot of damage. Oh, it's for now the back tied there. up, basically. Oh, that's it. Wow. Oh. Wolf Chen was barely able to clutch that out there. Hardinator started making a huge comeback. What a crazy game. We were both at the beginning of that game. Oh man, that really sucks. But that's next thing you know. Apparently, don't put Hardinator in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was looking like such a dominant match to start off with from, from Wolf Chen, and Hardinator really just started to dig in and see if oh. that uh, that dominance is able to carry on to the second game here. If Hardinator just plays as if he's only got one stock left, maybe, <laughs> maybe he's a different beast, you know? And also, he totally is shutting me up right now, uh, Hardinator. Uh, at the begin, I, I mentioned how Kirby has a tough time just outright killing, like you see here. You, Kirby uh, is did like three openings Ooh. to get this kill, and it's still one percent off. But I noticed in the last game he had a couple of spots where he 
got a lot of damage and he also got the down air spike off one of them. So oh, he always out. has those finish off. You gotta tools. be careful using those Pikachu up air combos at low percent because sometimes it just doesn't do enough hit stun to true combo the opponent. And Hardator was able to just hit the nair out of that combo there and reverse the situation. That Pika forward smash, max range, gonna take the stock. Actually, if Hardinator had drifted back a little bit there, might have been safe from that. Uh, got caught holding into the stage with the up B. Maybe going for reverse edge DI. Okay, jumps over that up tilt. It's the Kirby up tilt. Still keeping up the pressure here, but... Forward throw up smash. This should be a lot of damage. Oh. Oh, yeah. I think an accidental if... forward air there. But either way, uh, the uh, DI from Hardinator was pretty crazy. Got, he, he in three hits he completely changed sides in neutral air. Okay, good up the escape. It's a huge back air from Pikachu too. Down oh, tilt. Just, he loves yeah. that move. Great back, back throw. Yeah, yeah back and throw is so strong. We'll, at this we'll point. just uh, pull the trigger on that approaching back air a little bit early, and Kirby can like duck under that while catching the ump smash or forward smash. Sorry, with the with the up tilt, just barely on time. I think Kirby's forward smash was like a frame or two away from coming out there, and that would have been the stock for Hardinator. Yeah, I mean, oh. anything will do it at this point, especially if they're off top plat. Yeah, unfortunate couple of flubs from Wilchen there, giving Hardinator the opportunity to close that stock out before too much extra damage gets put on the board. You know, it's really interesting to watch their um, invincibility mix-ups, because... Uh, right there, Kirby just jumped up and down straight. <laughs> oh, this edge guard perfectly called him out. He committed to the upwards option and just deleted him. And this time he just runs up during Pikachu's invincibility. Missing that up air, but catching another one falling down. And that call out forward smash. I know you're going to ledge, buddy. <laughs> Don't even yeah. try it. What are you even going to do with that situation? This is another even game. Definitely Hardinator wants to take this one here and not go down 0-2. It's going to be really important. Oh. Wolchen finding that plat drop back air. Going deep with the edge guard. Wall bounced into the up air. But a little bit early on the attempt to finish that off. Just dropped the ledge straight into the Kirby forward air. Anything Hardinator has got another happen. chance here. Anything can happen. Oh, ah. Oh. Oh. Gotta be so careful tilt. playing around these up tilts. Can be so tough. Hardinator taking to the oh. sky a little bit. That can be dangerous at this point. Oh no, you don't, with do, an up don't let that happen. Shield you. break. What's the punish? Up tilt again into a downer? Yes. Just opting to end it early with a falling there, cashing out with some big damage. And catching Pikachu's double jump as well. This is so dangerous now. Gonna go that's, for the forward smash. Oh. And that's it, yeah. Wow. <laughs> What that, a last that, stock, right? Hardinator yeah. really showing uh, just how much good re movement and how many good reads he can make. Like, he really definitely just waited patiently for his opportunity, saw it, and uh, yeah. committed at the right that, time. The ending play is a great recognition when they've missed the tech and they're uh, just in the corner like that. They don't really have a way to escape the forward smash. It covers a wide enough range. If you don't have access to the roll away because you're in the corner, you can just kind of cover everything. And Hardinator executed perfectly on that to finish that match out. Yeah, his punish game has been a crazy... One of the best pun uh, Kirby punish games I've seen. Especially in this matchup where, like, a lot of things just end up in edge guards, and being able to convert off that sort of situation into spike is just so important. Oh, catching him out of the air. Really just seeking him down, seek and destroy missile that up that up air. It's so hard yeah. to escape. He reaches that... such a huge area and Pikachu's crazy drift. The dash attack on side plot as a follow was such a strange option, but it ended up working out. Just pushing Pikachu extra far away from the stage. Going deep with that up air attempt. Oh, Ultron is so bad. aggressive with this edge guard. That's and yeah. Bad. Ends up turning Kirby around when he has no jumps left, so Hardinator just didn't have a way back to the stage. Okay, three-piece combo into the back throw. Yeah, hugely and, advantageous oh, situation. Oh, another great call out from Wolchen. Yeah. Just gonna sit there and down tilt. Goes for a needlessly aggressive 
Nair off stage almost overshot the target there. <laughs> Gonna bounce Hardinator off the backboard to complete that stock. Also, good call using the down tilt instead of the forward smash because Ooh. sometimes forward smash can just get DI'd and tote back on the stage. Either way, it's looking, looking really like a, rough. Yeah. It could be a four stock. Not anymore. Hardinator not gonna let that happen. Yeah, last game, or the first game, he was in a really rough spot and it made him turn on the Jets. Let's see if he gets it again. Okay, big combo. Going for the weak back air, not quite close enough to extend that way. Maybe a downer would have been a better option catching the up B though. Hardinator's still in this. It's just so much work left to do. That nice. back air though. And he's still wow. at kind of low percentage too. Yeah, it's not dire straights yet or anything. But oh, wow. that Nair is so big. Yeah. And that trade back air is gonna seal it out. So Wolf Chen going up two to one here. Yeah, I, I do not know what characters they all play, so. Um, but <clears throat> I don't think it's a character issue either way. I think there's adaptations Heartnader can make. Oh, just going for that up tilt to try to call the Kirby double jump back onto the stage, not timing it correctly, and Hardinator able to get around that. But Wolf Chen, wow, just all over Hardinator, just kind of drifting towards Kirby and timing the moves exactly when you want to. Oh, wow! Just barely killed. That was a big read, too, to do forward smash in that situation. I think he did it before he saw that the tech was missed. Oh, trying to get some shield pressure going, but a dangerous back air gonna allow Hardinator to get out of that, that situation. Down tilt, he loves Once again, it. yeah. I mean, Kirby's down tilt, it just puts you in such a bad position, even if you're Pikachu. Uh, that, that angle on it is just so aggressive. Are these guys keyboard players too? I feel like this Pikachu might be a keyboard player. That's a good question. Uh, looking at the uppies, it wouldn't surprise me. I don't know yeah, if I've I'm seen any good. controller angle Pikachu uppies yet. Uh, when it comes to Hardinator, I'm really not sure at all. But they, I know they both play offline, so I'm not sure. Some of the uh, Europe players in the chat might know better. That looked like a controller angle, actually, okay. for sure. Yeah, there was a bit of a in a way movement on that on that up B there. I thought it was hard for me to tell. You know, you you probably have yeah. a better eye for that. They, sort of they thing are than both I do. on controllers. All right. Yeah, I, it throw. just looked like a straight up, straight right for a second. I was very a little confused. That's that. That's right. Yeah, that's that's gonna do it. Yep. So Hardinator keeping it close here. Thank you for the uh, people in the chat. And yes, it is Stu and Frey on the mic. Whoop. Oh, well, Chen's trying to catch Hardinator out of the air with those jump in backers, <laughs> just like abusing Pikachu's air speed to get an opening. And again, Hardinator going a little bit high with that double jump forward air recovery. Oh my and god, he just, just drifted oh. all the way in, yeah. right over his head. And normally you see an up tilt in that situation, but I guess he just must not have been representing that option at all recently, so he's able to get off on a hard read. But that's gonna kill, right? No. Barely not gonna do it. The Mega Kick Kirby has just a, a lot bit of weak. resources to get back here. You gotta Rips grind up side. your EVs on your Pikachu, you gotta get that strength up. That's stale, but it's... No, it's not gonna do it. Oh man, the stale back air. Kirby living for such a long time here. That finally will seal it out. Yep. Catching the back air at the corner like that <laughs> with Kirby at 130. It doesn't matter <laughs> how high your pers or how stale your move is there. Yep. Oh, great Very catch from Hardy. Nice. Just completely covering that go back to stage option. That's so huge here too. Getting that last stock oh, off of Pika. Shield pressure. Good night. Let's see what we can do. Up to, Gotta be up a few to, up to, nothing. Oh, trying to just build down up. 
or something or a way DI no. maybe? Oh, I, but the anti-air is going to be good. I don't think there was any DI there. I think Cardinator was just trying to milk that punish as hard as possible. Crazy up B read. So like, you know, you wait as long as you can between the up tilts just to get that like one extra. Oh, sure. Give the character more time to fall towards the ground and hit stun, but just got a little greedy with it. Still though, Hardinator with that up tilt to back air. Yep. Good position. Oh, that's needs definitely to, not keyboard. Yeah, okay. Needs to find a nair or uh, a grab under top plat. But is Wolfchen going to give oh, that opportunity? The backwards hitbox of that. Got oh, kind that, of a lucky break. That's going to do it. Okay. Arnator looking a little unsure of how to wow. extend that punish there. But we're, just we're went for the tech chase five. grab. And yeah. We're going to game five. Let's go. And yeah, the the Europeans in the chat also confirming what I said earlier. Hardy does usually win, but uh, Wolf took the last set at uh, at that Battle of Europe 250 tournament. So this is kind of Hardy's opportunity for justice and revenge here. Let's go. Or maybe Wolf Chen's chance to uh, show that he's capable of not just taking one set off of Hardy or two sets, but establishing yeah. that you know this is a threat. And Hardinator's got to watch out because that number one spot in Germany might be... Oh my god, way soon. too greedy! <laughs> so long, setting up the shield ring punish there. Wanted, wanted that upbeat double spike, but yeah, just took his time with it a bit too much. Still, look at this punish, though. Yeah, he's Getting on top. Look at this. A big 85%. Yeah, and by the way, you cannot fault me for thinking they were on keyboard if you look at how he, uh, how hard he does his uh, up tilts. Like, his turnaround up tilts are kind of wacky. Not gonna lie. It's kind of sus. Good drift. Oh, he's gotta get that throw now. Oh, he's great fiending for it. It's like, let me grab you, please. Uh, you see, Just run into my arms. You see Wolchen just threatening these uh, up tilts after landing though, and it makes it scary to, to approach. Oh sure, especially as Kirby who doesn't actually have that much uh, ground speed. Oh, he's greedy. Hardy's hungry. And he's pun getting punished for it. Okay, that could have been a big opportunity for Wolf Chen, but Hardy Nader able to even the stock count once again. Something I've noticed throughout this whole set is like these two players are definitely really evenly matched. Every, every game has been pretty close uh, looking and like even when Wolf Chen starts to pull ahead a lot, Hardinator just kind of plants his feet and starts taking those stocks and making the comeback, you know? Oh, sure. Uh, up tilt, let's go. Drilling into the platform. Big Drilling damage, going for another downer. Again. And yeah, Hardinator goes for the landing nair there to end that punish. Uh, a landing downer to forward smash might have sealed the stock out, but it's not gonna matter. Catching that up tilt from Pikachu, a little bit greedy after the recovery. Landing with that back air, and yeah, after all that damage he racked up from that huge punish, that's just enough to take the stock. Oh, great timed back air. Now he's just gotta do a little... Oh, <laughs> yes! Too slow! That's where you want to put the, the forder if you're Kirby. That's gonna do it, though. Perfect percent for that combo. The classic uh, up air into back air from Pikachu. Covering top plat with back airs. Get away from me, get away from me. Nice Still such tilt. a close step, but I'm starting to get a bit worried for Wolf Chen. Hardinator is looking a lot more comfortable right now, and yeah, finding that down air, putting himself even further into the lead. Tech. Oh, oh great the tech read. Away was not good. Just barely missing with that back air. Up air, up air didn't commit to the combo. Oh, oh no. God. He was running out of jumps too. If they, that could have been death if he kept the situation going. Yeah, just another uh, up air into a backer would have done it there. Oh, ho, ho, the good patience time. is is working out. This is it. Able last stock game five. Out that recovery, and yeah, they go to last stock here. Four minutes left on the timer. Not really gonna matter. Ooh, the neutral is looking very patient at the moment, though. Well, Chen does oh, not want to flies in with that backer he out of nowhere. Missed Z cancel, and that's why this no is jump. all happening. Still no jump on the Pika. Don't Clutch miss your key Z cancels, kids. Boys and girls, this could be you. If you miss your Z cancel. Okay. Oh, and an air? Up air is the second time. Okay. 
forward throw there instead of back throw. Maybe caught uh, mashing the grab button a little bit. Oh, but it's so close. Good hit. Oh, Missy cancel. That's so scary at this point. Oh, and another one from Kirby this time. Oh, man. It's so close right now. Yeah. It's just literally about who lands the next major hit. Hardinator is slowly pushing that lead, but if Wolfchain gets a grab in the corner, that could just be curtains for Kirby at this percent. Hardinator's yeah. gotta be careful. Or Don't like get it... grabbed under the top plat. That is oh, death percent. No. This is bad. Flying this in with bad. the back air again. Three jumps, four jumps. That's the last jump. Oh! Wolfchain tried to snipe it out. Oh, you Ooh. got him. Oh! That's oh, it. Oh my god! That was so interesting. Oh, I thought the Ford Smash was coming for sure. Ooh. But Hardinator just patiently waiting for that tech roll, catching it with the grab. Very, very patient uh, ending play from Hardinator there. Good Most Kirby's shit. would just let the Ford Smash rip after that downer, but yeah, Hardinator pushes it all the way.